All right, so I'm here at the Blue Run of Dunmudden Park. By the way, uh, they, they this is the Dun, Dunellen, uh, probably that's how you pronounce it, Dunellen uh, uh, bike trail or hiking trail or you know, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, I, you know, we've done videos here before, uh, but there's a lot to see here. And so I just keep making video after video. You see, we got the Portage Johns. I always point that out on the video. Uh, this is uh, called the Rainbow Springs Aquatic Preserve. Um, I'm not going to read all of that because uh, we've done that in previous videos. So what I wanted to show you is this is what we're getting ready to do as the daylight is getting away from me. Is uh, I'm going to try to get this pond trail in before it gets dark. Okay, so I just made a, 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 a biking video of, of doing the, um, uh, the Donellan uh, bike trail. Um, now there's uh, two other parking areas that I showed you in that bike video. Um, so you don't have to park here at, at this park. But let's get going on the pond trail. Now you can see they got it pretty well marked. Uh, pets, pets are allowed. A lot of people ask that question. Um, so I'm just, looks like you just go in here by the Porta John and, and we'll get some video here in just a minute. Um, I did want to show you, uh, there's a real nice bench right up here that you can sit and just, uh, I saw somebody there, uh, the last time I was here, um, actually, uh, fishing from off of the bench. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, there, evidently there must be fish in the pond. But let's get going. So here's the bench I was talking about. And you'll, you'll see these along the way. And I think this is a nice touch. Um, and even on the bike trail, uh, there are Porter Johns there. But uh, a guy was just sitting on this bench, tossing the lure into the pond there. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, like I said, it's getting kind of late. Uh, that bike ride took a long time. But I'm hoping we'll get this pond trail in. It doesn't look real long. Let's get going. So if you wanted a decent hike, uh, I mean, I don't think this is going to be a real long hike, but uh, you can see the lilies there. That's pretty cool looking. And uh, it's not, there are a lot of tree roots. So, you know, um, if you uh, have to keep your eye on the trail as you're, as you're hiking. But uh, you can see it's quite pretty. Um, it's... Uh, I wish it wasn't so late. Uh, I, you know, probably going to get cold on me. I don't know how long this is going to be. I, I can't imagine it being too far. Uh, one of the nice things that I like about here in Dunellen or Dunludden, or whichever way you want to pronounce it, uh, is they always have these signs that talk about things, uh, history or uh, nature or whatever. And uh, so I love to stop and read them. Um, so we got one coming up. Let's just read it real quick, see what it says. It's, uh, so this would be, uh, don't feed the gators, <laughs> probably, because it looks like an alligator on there. Adult alligators average 6 to 12 feet in length. Wow, 12, can you imagine a 12 foot gator? Feeding on fish, birds, and even whole turtles. Oh my God, I can't imagine, the dog. that would be a horrifying sight to see a gator eat a turtle. Alligators live in swampy areas in the southern U.S. The female lays uh, eggs in a large nest made from marsh grasses and mud. Heat produced from the rotting vegetation incubates the eggs. See, you learn something every freaking day. Isn't that incredible? I mean, I, I, uh, <laughs> I used to make fun of those don't feed the gator signs. Um, but then uh, all the Florida man stories that we have here, um, I, I, I can see where they need to put them signs up. <laughs> Because I, I can just see a Florida man uh, probably trying to keep a pet gator. I always think of that movie. Uh, I couldn't remember. It was a, on the Sci-Fi Channel. Um, uh, I can't remember. There was this old woman that kept feeding these massive uh, gators, and uh, and uh, she she felt that like they were her pets, you know. And uh, I can't, God, with Lake Placid, I think it was. And anyway, it was it was fun to watch. You know, I like I like watching stupid stuff like that. But uh, this is this is the pond trail, just kind of winding around here. Uh, so, uh, and this is by the way, this is the overflow parking. Um, that's what we're going by. So if you if if you got it like an SUV or or something, and you can't park uh, back there at the uh, the Dunladen uh, uh, Dunellen uh, 
parking or the park area you can just come down the road a little ways and uh, and then make a right uh you know heading back towards like like summerfield or uh or 200 heading back towards 200 and then this this parking lot right here you can see it uh so hey we're coming up on another sign this will be fun uh let's see what this one has to say a laurel oak let's look at get the laurel oak on the video so that's what it looks like this common beautiful oak is usually found near swamps and wet hammocks a large tree with a broad crown it can reach a height of 100 feet the thin oblong leaves are shiny green above and lighter below leaves persist until just before the new growth in the spring this is a popular shade tree for home landscaping wow massive tree all right so we're i'm just going to cut off cut off there because i don't think that the scenery is going to change too much um if i get another sign uh, we'll get that on the video this is, should be a real brief video i don't think the hike's going to be you know huge but i you know i'm like i said i'm trying to hit all of the all the scenery and all the trails in central florida for my channel um you know the 80 people that uh, watch my videos uh, i'm hoping they'll get some benefit from, from from watching these uh you can see i think this is it for the yeah pond trail okay it's continuing on let's keep going so coming up on a new uh, another sign hickory hickories are valuable hardwood trees the nuts are popular food for wildlife as well as man the wood is tough and strong and is used for a variety of purposes the leaves are a compound with 511 leaflets hickories often uh, hybridize in the wild resulting in a variety of trees that are sometimes difficult to identify let's get the tree on the bit wow look at that thing kind of leaning over like it's gonna fall on you wow and we got another sign coming up down here see how what i'm talking about i mean this is a very nice touch that they got these trash cans along the way you know there's people want to drink out of them stupid plastic water bottles and you know they're making it pretty effortless for them to just you know at least uh, do something another thing about this park is there's lots of benches you can see on here um let's let's read this one real quick oh man i tell you i this is I've always, this is what I thought I wanted to plant at my house, um, but I got one in the backyard. So this is the saw palmetto. This palmetto species generally grows in dense stands of pine and shrub trees with the stems creeping along the ground. Occasionally plants might grow upright. The leaves are fan shaped and up to three feet wide. The sharp teeth along the stem give the plant its common name. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay, so we'll just continue on. Like I said, uh, be a, probably a real brief video uh, unless I think of something that I want to talk about uh, you know that, that, that Omnicron variant is probably blowing through the woods here and uh, Fachi would run screaming to the hills or something like that you know you never know but um, very very easy trail to hike uh, the, the wonderful place to bring a dog you know wouldn't that be cool I mean you just if you wanted to just take the dog out and get a brief hike in uh, of course I wouldn't drive all the way here just to hike the dog around this trail I would you know do what i did and make a whole day out of it you know there's got got some side trails here uh like i said i'm just trying to get around the pond before um the sun, sunlight uh, goes away and then and then i'm going to ride the car i'm going to try to find the entrance to the um the uh, uh i can't remember how you pronounce that the with with uh state uh park trailhead uh for that bike trail because i do want to come back and we'll make a video of me biking that because I got down out a little ways uh, today, um, but uh, you know I had to turn around because well it got late. I, you know when when you're making videos it takes a lot of time, and uh, even though I got here pretty early, you know the day's getting away from me, and I knew that I, if I was coming out here I had to get the bike ride in, hike the pond trail, and uh, and be done with it. And then of course I didn't even think about. It you know doing some exploration with the car to find another tra trailhead I, I well i didn't even know it existed <laughs> until today <laughs> that's the beauty of being here in florida and being able to strike out with 133 miles to the gallon i can go places and not worry about uh the fuel prices you know because uh, i did see 340 a gallon on my way out here i'm telling you biden's getting them gas prices up isn't he holy moly it's going to be, uh, I, I keep telling you guys, 
I think six dollars a gallon. That's what I'm predicting uh, eventually, because uh, you know, no way you take down the fracking industry. So here you go. This is another nice touch. Look at that. It's another trash can. Hey, there's a sign down here. Let's let's go read this one real quick. This will be fun. Like I said, I love these signs. I, I learned, you know, I always want to learn. I always want to expand. And here's another bench. See, you could sit right here on the pond. Oh, wading birds. Herons, egrets, and other wading birds have long legs that let them walk in shallow water. They eat fish, frogs, insects, and other water-dwelling animals that they catch with their spear-like bills. And uh, this is what the pond looks like. You could just sit there on that bench and have a picnic or do some fishing right here, you know, probably. You know, just throw a cork out. I bet there's perch in there or whatever. You know, I haven't seen any gators at all. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's got to be one in there somewhere, you know. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that. I mean, isn't that, God, I just, everywhere I go here in Florida, it's just so doggone beautiful, you know. I, I just, I keep wanting to strike out. I, you know, let's talk about some future videos that will, will be coming up. Of course, we're going to get another bike ride uh, at the at the state park eventually. You know, I've still got to work on my divorce. That's uh, so that's what I'll be doing tonight is looking over the paperwork and trying to trying to crunch the numbers and see how fair my wife is being. Uh, you know, she did come back and get the dog, so I did appreciate that. Uh, I, I love the little guy. Don't get me wrong, I love the dog. But uh, they're a lot of work, man, a lot, and they cost a lot of money. And right now, I'm, I'm struggling to just pay the bills, you know. So that's hence the uh, trying to restart the business. By the way, um, I got some, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, want your own website. Uh, Joomla 4 is out, and uh, I went to cloudaccess.net, uh, and they gave me a, a $12 special for a year of hosting a website. Um, so I'm probably going to get started on a thatcybersecurityguy.com website. I've still got my domain name. It cost me $10 a year to keep it. Let's read the next sign here. The Sable Palmetto. This southern native is also called a cabbage palm from the large leaf bud or cabbage at the top of the trunk, which can be cooked Oh, and eaten. Hmm. Reaching heights of 50 to 80 feet. Oh, of course, I don't know how you get up there to get it, but it has a straight trunk covered with ridges. This fan palm sports shiny dark green fan-shaped leaves that grow to eight feet in length. Let's oh, let's, wow, let's let's get a look at it. That is cool. That is cool, huh? I you know, I crazy stuff you see here in Florida. Okay, well I'll I'll just bug out right there unless we come across another sign um not not a whole lot to talk about on this video uh, like i said i just wanted to get a, a brief hike in after riding the bike all day and uh, do this pond trail and just make a quick video about it i'll uh, i'll give you my my summary here in a bit if uh, unless i come across another sign which there probably will be that's uh that's the beauty of this park is uh they really keep you entertained it's uh, i love it love learning so that's it for the pond trail. Uh, someday, uh, I guess we'll come back and do the uh, the, the the sawgrass uh, trail. You know, but uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of hiking around in here. But uh, it's uh, it was nice. Uh, I enjoyed it. But uh, I'm just finishing up because I'm heading back towards the parking lot. And uh, like I said, I'm going to go exploring in the car. Um, so hey, look, another sign. Here you go. All right, red maple. This common tree adds color to the forest throughout the year as spring arrives. The red buds open and clusters of red flowers appear. In fall, the leaves turn brilliant scarlet, orange, or yellow. The buds and seeds are food for squirrels and birds. Wild deer and other animals feed on the leaves and twigs. Red maple sap can be used like that of the sugar maple, though it's not as sweet. So let's get a look at the tree. Wow, <laughs> it's a tall sucker. I'm gonna break my back just trying to look up it. Okay, so there you go. Let's. Um, well, I, I there's a little bit of trail left uh, here. Uh, see, once again, another trash can. Uh, good, good, good idea. You know, I'm glad that they they have those along the way. Uh, so I could get out on the paved trail. It's just to my left here. If you look, 
Um, that's how I know that I'm heading, you know, just back to the parking lot. But let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no jabs, no masks, no mandates. And you are free to come and do as you please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. Peace out and stay free. So on the paved trail here, there are a couple more signs and uh, since it's such a short video, let's just read it. Uh, Southern Magnolia, Once one traditional symbol of the South is the graceful Southern Magnolia. They are commonly found in old hardwood forests with deep shade. The dark green leathery leaves have a rust, rusty brown underside and grow from six to nine inches long. These leaves surround creamy white flowers with a deep fragrance. The fruit consists of a series of pods that contain crimson colored seeds. And of course, this is what it looks like right here. I'll back up just a tad. Look at those leaves. Yeah, they are big. You know, you just when you're hiking, you know, you just hike right past stuff. There's one more sign coming up. <clears throat> that, uh, I'm going to get on the video. Let's uh, let me hurry up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run up here, I'm trying to don't don't want the video to get too long here. All right, let's read this one. This will be fun. Okay, here we go. The Beautyberry. <laughs> Never heard of that. The clusters of small purple berry-like fruits that give the plant its name are eaten by many birds, including mockingbirds, robins, catbirds, and thrashers. It's usually found in woodland opens or sunny edges. You know, one piece of information, Florida would have been nice if, if, if no if humans can eat those berries. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to look it up. But, I mean, if, if birds can eat it, why can't humans? But that's what the bush looks like. All right. Because, you know, that is something, that's a skill that I want to learn someday, is uh, how to venture out into the forest and uh, and get, uh, let's go down here and look at the pond one last time. You know, how to venture out in the forest and forage for myself, you know, what what berries you can eat and, you know, things of that nature. Um, but, you know, this is this is the, this is the wonder, wonder of uh, this park. Uh, you know, once again, a trash can right there, that's, that's a good touch. And you got this bench and you could just come in here and... Uh, sit and have a picnic and look at the pond you know it is quite beautiful for sure so i wanted to get this on the video just because i made a chest out of cedar that my wife left me when she moved out um, red cedar the eastern red cedar is actually a juniper and not a true cedar squirrels and birds use it stringy bark as nest material its evergreen foliage is a favorite food of the white-tailed deer okay cool and provides year-round cover for many wildlife species. Its berry-like fruits are also an important food source for many songbirds. And this is what it looks like. And boy, I tell you, I, I love the smell of cedar, uh, especially in woodworking. I haven't done any woodworking for a while, but you can see you've got all of these little side trails that just go down towards the pond. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, if, so. If you're a fisherman, and I am, I, I might come back someday and just have a picnic and just stand here by the pond edge and, and catch, some, uh, catch some perch and just uh, and enjoy the day and just do some fishing, you know, now that I'm, I'm single again. And uh, that would be a fun day. All right.